Hello there and welcome to another day. I mean, you probably can't tell too obviously because this is Florida and I'm starting another day. The main issue today is that uh, we have a problem. The side mount on my uh, helmet that controls the camera is broken so I can no longer turn on the camera while riding the bike. So anytime I want to record footage while riding it requires me to stop, turn on the camera and then start riding. So we'll see how it goes. Florida's not really known for riding, so I don't expect me like having to really hit it real quickly and say, oh my god, I need to get this. Hello there and welcome to another motorcycle vlog. This time we're moving down from the panhandle of Florida down into kind of more of the central and lower Florida. Now yesterday was kind of disappointing a little bit in the fact that it was pretty much straight, not hilly, not curvy, and it was just lower Georgia, and, but it was worth it to get off the tracks and whatnot. Well, today would be pretty much similar, because this was pretty much what, most of what I saw, but when I saw a state park, I stopped. And here's what I saw at Manatee State Park. The Florida park. that everyone loves. Just look at it. The beauty. <laughs> The awe and the splendor. This is the kind of Florida that Ponce de Leon found when he was like uh, exploring Florida looking for the fountain of youth. It's kind of silly that he actually thought it was actually out here. Amazing. Kind of a weird kind of thing. It's like, uh, you know, El Dorado, you know, the fountain of youth, all these kind of things that you think like, wow, who in their right mind would actually believe something like that existed? And there were plenty of people who did. Now supposedly there are manatees in this spring area. Let's see if I can find one. There's one in this area. Let's see here. Big overlook. And absolute nada. Okay, okay. Keep looking. Maybe we get lucky. Well, you can see here, kind of interesting. Up there is the springs that actually feed into it. And if you look right there where it changes color, that's where the water is mixing with the mud of the uh, rest of the river and the uh, stream to make it like opaque. But it's see through there. Reading some of the signs, it shows that the manatees aren't here yet. Uh, they're coming in winter. They come because there's warm springs and they can kind of like warm themselves by the swings. They don't like cold water. And they'll eat lettuce all day long. This is kind of Florida. Big swamp. As for riding, you know, Florida, you know, yeah, it lacks some things, but hey, what are you gonna do? But you just kind of enjoy just the change in scenery. Quite a difference from Death Valley to Yosemite to all the other things. Just the change in landscape alone makes the trip epic. And I don't know if people, uh, I know not a lot of people are watching, but it was worthwhile at least to document it so that I can watch it again. Stopping to see the manatees is fun, but also you gotta have fun as well. And of course, a picture for the bike. The manatees aside, I guess they're a growing kind of uh, tourist attraction because they're slow moving, they're not afraid of a uh, you know, humans, and they're big creatures that you can see very easily diving. And more and more, you saw places that were manatee tours, manatee diving, free diving with the manatees, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, they're grown. They weren't uh, always such a big draw, apparently, but we move on. Riding down the coast, it was just, there wasn't a whole lot to see, because most of the uh, coastline was taken up by beaches and towns, so you weren't really coming to see the ocean much at all. So I decided to kind of move more interior, and 
Well, that led me to not a whole lot either, because the interior of Florida, while it gets a little more open, doesn't exactly, you know, get that kind of great open feel that other areas of the country, like Kansas or other places where you say, you know, there'd be a little more hills. Florida is a very flat state, flatter than most, and it's close to sea level. It was kind of interesting seeing all the hurricane evacuation routes, which, you know, those signs were always kind of everywhere, and I was constantly wondering, wouldn't it make sense and depend on where the hurricane was going? But, hey, what do I know? Thank you for watching.